Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Josh and Sean Show, starring Josh and Sean. Ah, uh, that work. I like that a lot. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Stop the train. Stop the train. You're going to push the table down. Been on the road so long, we got our own damn song. The Josh and Sean Show is on. What's up? What up, everybody? Good evening. It is... Josh. Josh and Sean. That was a Josh. Josh. Do that again. What's up? What up, everybody? Good evening. It's Josh. And Sean. Of the Josh and Sean Show. Tonight, we're doing our first ever review of anything. Yeah, you know how we had that 420 video that was really fun? Mm -hmm. And a new idea. Mm -hmm. This will be our first review video. We're reviewing beers that are brewed in Michigan. My cousin Aaron, who's behind the camera right now, he's gonna be our announcer today. Hi guys. <laughs> but Aaron went and got us seven different kinds of beer. But what, what we're gonna do today party. is tell you which ones are the best ones. Going from the lightest beer to the darkest, correct? Correct. Okay. This one is, I'm really excited for the Dragon's Milk coming up. Dragon's Milk. Um, but that's supposed to be, we say that the last for a reason. Yes. 11% percent beer. Usually beer is like four, four and a half. I don't even like five that much. Yeah. So, you're in for a treat. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. So the first one we have, Two Hearted Ale, it is from Bell's Brewery in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And this is, uh, of all the beers that we have here today, this is the one that's most commonly available throughout a lot of states outside of Michigan. It's an IPA. I don't know any beer, I don't know any beer terms. IPA is Indian Pale beer. Ale. We're going to have to make them up. I would just figure we'd do it like leather It's got a really nice afterbirth to it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. It's almost sweet, right? It's an IPA, so it's very happy. Ooh. <laughs> I like a hoppy. That's good. I like a hoppy beer, too. That's pretty heavy. I mean, that's, that's pretty heavy for, for what I usually drink. I mean, I drink PBR. I like, I like past food ribbon. What do you think, Josh? What are your, what are your notes on it? First of all, what's your favorite, what's the beer your go-to beer? I mean, if, I ha if I'm having beer, which rarely happens. Oh, yeah, which is a good beer, but it's that's a very light. Yeah, it's it's not beer, beer, that's water. Yeah, it's good water, though. Yeah, but if I only have four of those, I'm so <coughs> upset. I mean, I usually have like eight of them, so it's just like, yeah. Well, like that it. one on the end's about eight ultras, yeah. so you're good. Wow. So, I mean, I don't want to, I mean, Careful, it's gonna be like it'd be hard for me to order this twice. Yeah. I like it's it a lot. It's so strong. It's so I wouldn't strong. want to get drunk on this beer, mm -hmm. but this is a good beer just to drink at the end of the day. Ooh. Long day at work, grab a beer, sit in the, sit in the couch. Well, that's strong, though. Mm. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. I like that. What's it called? Two-Hearted Ale. A suited for adventures everywhere. Are you serious right now? Yeah. That's going to happen a lot. Eat a bread soul, next one. That's a break. Mm -hmm. is an ale from that is from Frankenmuth Brewery, Frankenmuth, Michigan, home of the International Beer Festival. West well, smells very different. Yeah. Not near as sweet. Ooh, I might like that one. It's an ale. What is that word? It's a Heffenweizen. Heffenweizen. Hence the name, the Hef. The Hef. Very different smell. Mm -hmm. Very different beer. You can already tell. Toasting. I do like that. Ooh, I really like that. Oh wow, it's really smooth. There's almost, it's there's smooth. almost it's no, just... there's no bad beer aftertaste. Yeah, I like that one. It's almost got a sweet little hint right at the end, right after the, right after the first drink. You got you got a good little little sweet tickle in the back of the mouth there. A little sweet tickle. That's good. Wow, that's good. I've never tried that one before. I, I like just that saw that on the whim and picked it up. Hey, you're like that. Yeah, like you're that. like that. That's that's, that's a good, good beer. I like okay. that. And actually, I picked it up in the store later on the corner. The Hef, the Hef. definitely yeah. number one so far. It's a wiener dog. That's a that's good one. Smoking yep. pipe. That's funny. Gonna finish up for you. No, I'm actually gonna like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenmuth, good work. Oh my God, did y'all hear that? What do we have next, Darren? Bel Air Brown Ale from Shorts Brewery in Bel Air, Michigan. It's a classic American brown ale. Trout Slayer. It's a month. It, this mm -hmm. is Trout Slayer. That's a good beer. Yes. That's a good beer. 
I like that one. You like Trout Slayer? Yes. That's Boost mind. Rule. This reminds me a lot of Trout Slayer, yeah. You ever had Boost Rule? Yeah, I like Boost Rule a lot, too. Boost Rule is one of my faves. So I figured I'd like that one. I have not tried that one, but I figured I would like it. in front of that one still, if I'm being honest. Yeah, this one, I think this one's better, but I like this kind of beer a lot, yeah. though. It's not real, a lot of your dark beers are real, real heavy. Like, real mm-hmm. heavy, real coffee. This one isn't that bad to me, anyway. It might be different to you. I can review things. We should review more things. You know, suggest stuff we should review. Yes. Not gross stuff, though. Yeah, uh, sardines. Yeah, that, that wasn't that bad. It was the peach schnapps. It was the schnapps. Oh, that was God. bad. <laughs> did you watch that? I'm not schnapps sure what sardines. We, were no, we did Facebook. a live video of us drinking shots of schnapps and eating sardines. Why? Because I had schnapps and sardines and needed the video. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Some days we don't have we don't record anything. We're just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put two things together and see what that happens. Atwater Brewery's Vanilla Java Porter. And this is one of your favorites, this right? This is one of my favorites. Okay. You can smell every every bit of that vanilla java in that. It's very ooh, that's black. Ooh. It smells good. It does smell good. It's really coffee vanilla. It really mm-hmm. is. Got that coffee, yeah. That hits you immediately. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's like coffee beer. Yeah. No, well, that's really good. But it's not like a super bitter coffee, but it's not no. sweet. It's the vanilla is what's ooh, that's good. There's a, like, a little twist right there. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Smells like a candle. Smells like a vanilla, like a vanilla scented candle. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's really nice. That's a nice beer. Man. So this that last. One. This is last. That was the first one you didn't like a whole lot. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Well, he's, he's, putting, he's putting in order of preference. Okay. We'll figure it out. We'll do okay. that. I like that, though. I got them in the order I thought they were. So oh, I'm gonna check them. Go ahead and put them in your order. <laughs> it's okay. It's just, it's fine. I was leaving in the same order. Was it? I didn't know if you liked this one or no, that one. Okay. It's fine. Oh, that's so good. Oh. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, it tastes like coffee. It smells like a candle. It smells like, like a vanilla candle. Like you'd go to Bed Bath and Body Works. Blueberry maple stout. It's a breakfast beer. Did you hear that? Blueberry maple. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at that dude. <laughs> yeah, I smell a burst. Can you smell the blueberry in it? Sure. I've never tried this one. I mean, it got dark fat. I just, I just saw this one a whim. I can smell Ooh, it from wow. here. <laughs> I don't know if I like that one that much. That's a blueberry pancake. Yeah, that's like a blue- mm-hmm. like a blueberry, blueberday blueberday pancake. blueberry pancake. But it's still beer. Like, it's oh, that's so beer taste. I mean, it's, it's a weird mix. After it sits in your mouth, it's not as good. <laughs> it hits the back of your throat, it's too much. But that's a good... It could be all the beers I've had, but it makes my belly feel weird right now. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> It's a weird, weird. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It was good at first. I changed my mind. <clears throat> That's not bad. This is very different. It's still a microphone. <laughs> Dirty bastard. Scotch ale. Now, what makes it a scotch ale? Do you know what is that? What does that mean? It's basically they're brewed in the scotch barrels. Nice little head on there. Oh, sorry. I gave you your. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's a nice little head. Yeah. Look at that head. Like beer, 
And you, you like, you just like, farted again? No, it was the chair. I thought you sounded like that was the chair. No, that was the chair. It's, it's Tony Lester. If you ever watch the video, you'd like this beer. Tony Lester, try that right there. Found a dirty bastard. All right. Last one. Okay. Last one. Saved it for last. Uh huh. The worst. Okay. Now, Dragon's Milk Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout. 11.5% compared to 5.5 in normal beers. Gosh. Josh is already scared for his <laughs> life. What's funny, he doesn't like 11% beer, but he'll drink 40% vodka all day long like it's nothing at all. You just get it down and get it done. Oh my gosh. Don't even smell it. Just It smells like liquor. It doesn't smell like beer. Smell that. It smells like liquor. Like alcohol. Like, like Oh, that's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing my ass so off. You're really good. <laughs> You're gonna love this one so much. Okay, dragon's milk. Bottle design. Dragon's milk is my favorite. Question. Yeah. <laughs> What? This is gonna be so off topic. God, it's great. Is it beer related at all? No. Okay. I've been drinking too, so I'm sorry. But this is dragon's milk. Which one? To dragon too? Dragon's milk. Stop it! To dragon. Stop it! You're gonna push tail now. To dragon's milk. What? 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 Tastes like beer at all. It no, tastes. It good. tastes like a like a dark liquor. Like. A, Ooh. It tastes like Kahlua. I like that. That was a good. It's one. like a less chocolatey Kahlua. If I had to describe it as anything, a Kahlua with less chocolate is how this tastes to me. Let's rate these bad boys. Number one, the Hef. Hef is number one. Absolutely, I love the Hef. We'll agree on that. I'm going through a blueberry in the back. I'm gonna have this a third, I think. I kind of like that. That was pretty, pretty tough. That's a good beer. Ooh, sorry. Vanilla number two. Like that. We'll get this number three. Like that. Blueberry last. Which one was this one? The vanilla one. Vanilla Java Porter. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and say I like that one more than like the coffee one. You think so? Go for it. Go put it up there, yeah. So yes, yeah, so number one, the Hef, Frankenmuth Brewery. Very, very nice job. That's a good, solid beer. That's a good beer. Mm -hmm. Is there more cold beer? <laughs> I'm just asking. No. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's the Josh and Sean Show, starring Josh and Sean. Ah, uh, that worked. I like that a lot. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you very much, Aaron. If you like what you watch, hit that like button, hit that comment button, hit that subscribe button, and that share button. You gonna finish that beer? This one, probably. Mm -hmm. Put it in there, man. Josh, you get drunk. We're going to bed afterwards, I think. Guys, we love you all. Thank you. Like, comment, share, everything. subscribe, everything. See you guys next time. We'll see you next time. Tomorrow, basically, maybe. Josh and Sean reviews. Woo! Yeah. Time to die. Ah. Yo, watch last night's episode, watch tonight's episode, subscribe, like, share, everything. I love you guys.